Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Celebrity Talk right here on thestartv.com. Okay, uh, it's me Sha as always and I get to speak to all these wonderful people. And uh, with the new year which just started, like I said, new resolutions, new beginnings, I've got the right new person with me here, okay? Yeah. Not so new in the industry but I think it's a very good start. Uh, I'm talking to Thank Keith you. Fu. Hi Keith. Hi, how are you? I'm happy very new good. Year to you. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, likewise. Uh, we're very happy to have you here. Thank you for having me. Okay, now um, I was just uh, thinking about Keith because the last time I had Celebrity Talk, I spoke to Fazura. Yes. And Faz mentioned that, oh, I'm coming up in a movie with Keith Fu very soon. So I said, okay, he should be the best person for me to speak to. And I'm very lucky to have you. So, like I said, New Year, new resolution. Now, Keith, um, in this uh, current situation, okay, people yes. are talking current about... Current situation. Eh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> current situation. A lot of things are going on right yeah. now. People are talking yeah. about, you know, uh, the world is going on about politics and, and um, economy and everything. But the entertainment industry is still going on. Okay. Yes. Um, nobody seems to be complaining, working harder even. Yeah. And um, I'm guessing it should be the same for you. Same okay. Yeah. All right. So... Could you please tell us, you know, how has uh, the past 2015 been for you, you know, in the in terms of career? Okay, uh, 2015 has been good. I've been blessed. Uh, um, I've got no complaints. Um, everything negative or positive is something for us to bring forward to 2016. Okay. For us to improvise and to to prove that we can make it better. Okay. All right. I believe in purpose-driven life. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Every year there's a purpose. Okay, every year there's a purpose. Yeah. So what is 2016's purpose? 2016 purpose is to bring back what I have left out in 2015. Okay, all right. And to make it better and, and, and enhance it. Okay. To make it even better. Um, of course, I want to be um, a father. Okay, all right. And um, of course, everyone wants to have a future and to build a family of their own and, and, and everything um, but if it happens it happens but, but you know I'm not into rushing okay. things okay all right yeah. cool talking about rushing things okay uh, yeah. now this year we also know uh, you are going to come up with a feature film actually yes. so like I said I mentioned earlier Fazura she mm -hmm. mentioned this movie mm -hmm. I'm coming up with Keith Fu so the movie uh, I was at the premiere I, I, I witnessed it myself Langit did Chinta. you cry? Uh, well, I didn't. I'm not the type who cried movies, uh -huh. okay? But I must say, the movie was very... <laughs> how do I say? I guess I, I, I never expected Keith Fu to, to play such a role yeah. so well, okay? Well, uh, we've you. seen you in Malay dramas, of course. Yeah, I said that's the other you. amazing thing about Keith being non-Malay, but you seem to do these Malay roles extremely, extremely well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. now tell us your experience uh, in Langit Cinta with Fazura. Okay, uh, in the beginning when I was offered this movie, I was a bit um, skeptical and doubting myself. Something where a lot of people are ha having hopes that it's going to be a, something big. A blockbuster. And it's going to be um, something that is going to improve our entertainment uh, industry in Malaysia. Where I believe it might happen. Okay. okay, so it's like I said, since it was your third time with Osman Ali, I yes. guess it wasn't very difficult to to you know work with him and. and okay, uh, Osman Ali is very. Um, I shall not call it perfectionist. He wants the best out of you. Okay. He will dig out the best out of you to be. I mean, everyone have their each individually have their own potential. Okay. So he wants the best out of it. Okay. So he push you to the limit. Okay. All so right. I hope through this movie, I mean, people will see the different side of me. Okay. Yeah, as an actor. Okay. Yeah. Before this, I was trying to do dramas, trying to take different kind of roles, comedies and stuff, and being a a soft guy and, and blah blah blah. And here, um, it's something very heavy and deep and. Let's see how it goes from here. Okay, what one of my main objective and one of my goals and dreams and what I want to achieve in, in the industry in Malaysia uh -huh. is like um, to combine everything together. Okay. Like, because um, I can speak most of the language in Malaysia, the dialects, especially Tamil, uh, Mandarin, and stuff like that. I want to make a difference in the industry. Okay. So uh, it might have not happened today, tomorrow, a week to come, or a month to come, a year to come, two years to come, but down the line, if it's not me, someone else will make it happen. So this is how the current situation, as you said, current situation 
this is how we can combine and unite Malaysia back again. Okay. I hope through this, I can do and make a difference okay. in through this industry. Well said, yeah. uh, because like I said, not everyone can pull it off. You know, speaking different languages in in one movie, you know, and of course we know of your Chinese and Indian heritage. All right, so that gives you that uh, extra advantage. But at the same time, okay, um, being a non-Malay uh, in a very dominant Malay uh, entertainment industry, um, was it difficult or could you just blend in? Because we know some others have tried this before, yes. you know, and I don't know whether we want to blame the industry, they are the ones who don't want to cast non-Malays, or is it because non-Malays just choose not to try out in, you know, uh, the Malay entertainment industry? Uh, for me, to be honest, I believe in um, discipline. Okay. If you have the discipline and you have the will, if you need to start from zero, go ahead, start from zero. Which you did. Which I did. Okay. And then I, I was based in Indonesia for 10 years. And when I got back here, I didn't get like straight away main role whatsoever and stuff like that. I tell to myself, I told myself, I need to learn the industry in Malaysia. I can faham, I need to know, I need to understand, I need to learn. And, and then that's what I did. And then from there, the experience that I have, like I show what I, the experience I have and I can give back to the country. Okay. And maybe make some improvement and share with other artists and to gain the other artist experience so that to better myself and to better everyone. Now, was the learning process very difficult or, you know, it was not so easy but manageable, you know, for you personally? Uh, one thing that I learned is never be ashamed or shy to ask questions. Okay. That is where you learn. Okay. All that right. is how you learn. A good tip for everyone, yeah. never never be shy and ask questions. Yeah. Well, it got you this far, you know. Uh, we, we obviously believe that, you know, there's something there when you say that. Uh, and um, do you, you know, being, I guess I can say you're slightly senior in terms of a non-Malay actor in the Malay industry, Thank all right? You. So, do you see potential in a younger group of non-Malay actors who are trying to, to join the Malay industry? There's a lot of potential, there's a lot of new artists that have a lot of good talents and stuff like that. It's just that we need to give them opportunities. Okay, now that's the thing. So, do you think they are not getting these opportunities because people are not giving the chance or they are not trying? You know. Uh, no comment about that. Okay. Uh, for me, it's about if you have the opportunity, grab it, do it, and prove it that you can do it. It's either you do a good job or a bad job. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is learning, trying, and doing it. From there, you improvise and improve yourself to be better and better every day. Okay. Another thing, I remember that uh, August Man magazine they crowned you as one of the men of the year for 2015 yes, correct. along with a few other very yeah, well-known people new man number one uh, a-lister what was it like you know i mean like you said you just started we we know you came back 2012 <laughs> now 2015 2016 in less yeah. than four years everywhere and yeah. getting all this recognition so what does it feel what was um i never thought to be honest i never thought this day would come um i'm very blessed and i'm thankful to get this recognition and uh I hope this not going to stop me here and by getting all this recognition, it only makes me more a humble person, okay. you know, to better myself. I am where I am today is because not because of myself, it's because of the people outside there who are supporting me and giving me all this encouragement and I owe it to them. So that is why I want to give the best okay. in everything that I do in the cool. entertainment industry. Alright, so we're hoping for the best, obviously, for more to come from Keith, okay? Because uh, you've done so much. Uh, we're looking forward to more stuff. So before we, we, we finish this, maybe you can tell us what's coming up for 2016. You just said you want to you know, improve yourself, but any yeah. projects which we might be looking out for? Okay, 2016, as, as you guys know, um, Langit Cinta is coming out in January. I'm currently shooting uh, uh, Hantu Punya Boss. It's a drama. It's, uh, based on novel okay and the uh, next novel is called Jom Kawin and then another drama is coming out soon another dra uh, film is I'm um, gonna be a film soon and I'm first time I'm gonna be a host for 
I think it's safe to say LTM is okay. called uh, Icon. I'm the host for uh, okay. this uh, new program called Icon. To search the new Icon from Malaysia, LTM. So um, that's I'm a big be thing, host, huh? Yeah. And right after that, I'm gonna film a drama again. I see. Very busy. Uh, You've got a year packed with so many activities. I'm blessed. I'm just blessed. I can't thank God enough and. Uh, Hoping by all these uh, dramas and activities that I'll be doing that something that I can give back to the community. Okay. Yeah, and um, my goals and dreams is just not this. Um, business as well, this, right? Yeah, man, besides business, uh, I might open a home for kids who are in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's very soon. noble. Yeah. Trying to do everything, philanthropist. Because uh, what I gain is this not for me. Uh, it's actually to give back to the community. Okay, cool. Very well yeah. said. So, uh, I, I really appreciate you coming. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank okay? you for having me. Yes, we wish you all the best, Keith. All right. Um, I, like I said, I got a lot of stuff from him. Okay. Um, simple tips, but very good advice. So hopefully we'll see more of Keith Fu already. So many projects coming on 2016. Mm -hmm. But for Celebrity Talk right here on thestartv.com, that's all the time we have. Uh, this is Shah and Keith signing out saying bye. Thank you. Thank you.